Hello, friends. You recognize this pickup? Well, it is back. Um, it should be a maintenance, but it's a full detail. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, it probably won't be that bad. But this time, we're going to take care of that exterior. Look at that. Looking rough. Just rough. But this is a very beautiful pickup. And it's actually in pretty decent shape considering the work that it does. But I want to get these wheels cleaned up. So, let's take a look at the inside, guys. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> the doors still look really good. The rest of the vehicle is actually in pretty decent shape. But it's only been 10 weeks since I last saw this pickup. But there you go. Lots and lots of dirt. It goes with the territory. These front, this front seat especially, definitely needs some attention. But that's because he's in and out of it every day, all day, long hours of the day. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get this puppy blown out. I think that's going to make a big difference in itself. And then once I get it blown out, I will pull it in. And we will get started. Shouldn't take too long, but what I, like I said, what I'm gonna do is the exterior as well. You know, pretty dusty, but that's okay. It's definitely not in the condition that it was when I had it the first time. So I am not worried about how long this will take. The exterior, however, will take quite a while. Polestar, sorry, my thing is leaking. <laughs> uh, today I'm using Polestar by Coach Kimmy on the interior. We're gonna see if we can't uh, give this a try, see how well it turns out. Uh, this is an outside detail, so um, I always try to give uh, this customer a good service with good products so we're gonna give it a try and see so far it's looking good but you might have seen this steering wheel a little bit ago and it this little splatter of coffee or whatever it is is all over over here on the radio console here and here so let's see how well it does you guys it is so hot today now my first impression of this Polestar is it works it cleans but I don't have this I'm worried that my customer will wonder what I use to clean it with water <laughs> the scent is just not there but it seems to be cleaning pretty effectively. Well, I say that, let's see. Okay, yeah, 
we're good. <laughs> that was a, this is a pretty big mess behind here. You know, being in construction, their hands will get dirty. So we definitely want to make sure we have a product that's going to take that dirt off. Okay, I think we're golden. It seems like a gentle cleaner, which is good. So that is the matte finish. If you are cleaning leather seats and you're new to the business, this is just so that you're aware. If they're shiny, they're not clean. If they're matte finish, they're clean. You saw the dust on these doors, but the scent, I love this stuff. It's doing its job. It's perfect for my outside customers. However, it's that scent for me. Because when my customers pick up my outside details, one thing that they all say when they pick up my or pick up a vehicle from me, they always say, this is without a miss. Oh, it smells so good. You've heard that on my all of my reaction videos when the owner allows me to record their reaction. But we are going to use a little bit of uh, probably some of the FU, maybe. I don't know. This is a man's pickup. He may not like that. So I'm still considering that, but I may go back to the normal um, scent products like the little trees in a bottle or even make up my lemon scent because the lemon scent would be a, a good one for an outside detail as well. Now, if you remember on the last video, I did steam clean these seats, and because he's bringing it back to me so soon, should be good. We should be good with just a really good wipe down on the seats. What does it smell like? Well, you know, everybody describes scents a little different. But what it smells like to me is a hospital room. And you have to remember, I spent almost three months in one for the most part. So it's not a very enticing scent to me. But I also know that even if, you know, just because it doesn't smell great doesn't mean it doesn't work great. Yeah. Coach Kimmy Polestar, it does a really good job of cleaning. I got to give it credit. It is, it is uh, handling the dirt just fine. I like it. That is what I don't like about gloves. Yeah. is what I'm we're we're calling a light rinseless wash. I already took it over to the car wash and pressure wash it. 
I wanted to make sure we got the mud out of the wheel wells and all of that. Other than that, he goes to the tunnel car wash, but there's things that it that get missed. So we're gonna handle some of that today, like on the grill, um, the mirrors, a lot of those bugs stick around when you go through a tunnel car wash. So we're just gonna get in there and just kind of clean up, you know, tidy up, I guess you could say. Alrighty friends, so this 2014 Ford F-250 is done. I did a, what we're calling a light rinseless wash on the exterior. After I took it down and gave it a good pressure wash, it looks pretty decent. But it really looked pretty good when they brought it to me as well. We were able to work some of that gunk out of there. It's just fingernails and all of that scratching. Keys, all of that. It's in good shape. So we just kind of Played around with the chrome, got the bugs off, you know, that kind of stuff. Now, these rubber mats, these weather techs, they are going to be the death of me. Just saying. I have got to find the right stuff to get those clean. I brushed them and they don't look like I touched them much at all. I mean, with the drill brush them. Looks good. Nice and clean. So the last time I deal, detailed this, it took six hours. This time it took five and a half. But I expected a good four or five. And the only reason it probably took that extra hour is because I really put in the effort for some of the exterior work. But this looks good. It's back up to par where it needs to be. I'm going to go ahead and put him in my calendar to text him at least every eight weeks to give him a couple of weeks to get it back to me. Just try and stay on top of it. I was going to text him about that right about now. I think it's on my calendar for next week, actually. And that way I'd give him a couple weeks to get it here by that 12, uh, 12 week mark. But I think what I'll do 
It's just put him in for eight weeks. And that'll give him a couple weeks to get it back and we'll stay on top of it. You know, these door jams had all kinds of gunk in it. They live on a dirt road, plus the roads for the jobs. But anyway, the pickup looks great. Didn't take much time at all on the interior, not like last time. Alrighty, friends, so, if you have not picked up your DIY detail rinseless wash and you need to, well do it. I'll put my affiliate link in the description box below or enter the coupon code GRANDMA10. Anyway, the pickup is done and only took five and a half hours. Not too bad, not too bad at all. So, thanks for hanging out guys. I sure do appreciate it. It's hot. It is time for me and Doggy to go home. So, if you'll take a second to smash that subscribe button, I would love to have you. And until the next video, you know how it goes. Peace.